Steampunk Lady in Red. She is gorgeous. Quite a lot of sparkle to her. So this is from Gemmet in Mandurah. Let's just see if we can get that logo. There we go. Steampunk Lady Red, 61 by 91 and a half. So she is poster size. You can have a look at her. And yeah, she is stunning. So that's just on the floor. I'll put her in a poster frame. And um, yeah, we'll see how that one turns out. So wasn't she stunning? Um, so I took that video footage on my phone. It was just easier to film her on the floor. Um, so Steampunk Red Lady, as always, whenever you turn around and put your hand on there, you just feel something. Absolute pleasure to work on. Um, no, no issues whatsoever at all. Um, I had some junk, which I will show you, and somewhere just simply because they were having a party in the wrong place. So this one got rolled and unrolled and rolled and unrolled, travelled from Perth to Cairns without any work on it and then came back with about three quarters done. Took me about three weeks to get this, this one done. Three? Yeah, three weeks. Um, but then I was working on this one. I was working on the a 60 by 100, a little bit of cross stitch, bead of cross stitch, and also the new um, a 60 by 70. So uh, three, three, about three, three and a half weeks to get this one done. But yet again, it wasn't just the only thing I was working on. So have a look at the junk. You see a lot of those just actually having a party. Um, I think the 310 were the worst. I had one of the reds which um, didn't play nice, wasn't nice. But basically it was the 310s that were the issue. But otherwise the drill quality was pretty good. Uh, okay, so that's that side of it. Now, drills. Yeah. I had a little bit of an incident last night when I finished um, this one. Um, so there is three colours that are not truly represented for leftovers. I was working with the 817 on the last section. I opened up the 666 just to put a couple of beads in. Put that just to the side, still open in case I needed more and then I finished with the cues so I poured them from my tray straight into the 666 box um, so now I have 81 so I ended up with 817 in the 666 so that was a bit special and then I went on to work with the 308 and ended up with some of the 308s in the 666 a horrible nightmare but it was like I'm finished with these colours anyway. Drill quantities. Um, so the 666, the 817 and the 3801 are no true representation of what was left over. I had a couple where I was concerned about before I started. So the 832, 832, um, quantity 832. 
quantity 195 was one bag yet I had one that was 201 I had two bags so 832 I was concerned about running out of you know just it's the one that you think you got but I still yeah I still had enough in there and because quality was good there wasn't even any issue with quality so yeah um, 893 I got close to running out or got a bit nervous with so that's one another one I got nervous with um, Eight nine three. There we go. Had uh, needed seven hundred and thirty-eight. Uh, I got four bags, which is eight hundred. Should have been approximately eight hundred drills, but yeah, I ran short on that one. Well, not short. I ran close with that one. And I think they were the only ones that really. Oh no, the nine three nine. So 939 was 100, needed 188. I had one bag. So yeah, did get close, but had the quality. Um, 934, there we go, 194, one bag. And you know, I ended up with more than I did in the 939s. Hang on, I'll open those up. But for the quality side of things, there's no issue there. Radio <clears throat> 415 needed 183. But, I mean, I didn't run out. So there we go. 310. <laughs> I have excessive amount of 310. <laughs> okay. Overall experience, um, loved working on it, would I do it again, I will go, I will be ordering from Gemmit again, I will be ordering one of the customs, not a custom, one of these, um, this work was from uh, the lady that did it, one of the exclusive creations from Helen Reed. Um, so I will be ordering again. I'll probably try a square next. Um, but I can tell you what, because I, I primarily work around squares, I've just gone on to the rounds because I had a bad experience with squares. And I will say, rounds are so much quicker. Um, but yeah, uh, I might order a square from them and see how that goes. Um, however, Use the noise while I put that all aside. There we go. So, steampunk lady. There we go. All done. Oh, just got that to roll. There we go. She is done. I am so, so happy with it. ready to be framed and because it is a standard poster frame I'll be able to get a frame for her for about 20 25 bucks so thank you for watching um, um, yeah I really enjoyed working on this one and I hope you guys if you do buy from them they are pretty good um, yeah no issues at all so thanks for watching. Bye for now.